Hi everybody, it's just me LTM. I have an unboxing for you today. I had a very sad thing happen to me last week. My coffee machine broke. Oh, no coffee in the morning. Oh my god, and I've been on holiday so I've been at home wanting to make coffee for myself at home. But I couldn't because my machine broke. It broke when I was descaling it, which is interesting because I have a friend whose machine also stopped working when it was descaled. So interesting. Anyway, my new one has just arrived. Unfortunately, they didn't have any in the store, so I've had to be buying coffee. But today I've taken delivery of my new coffee machine. So let's have a look. So here's the machine that I bought. It's a Sunbeam Mini Barista Espresso Machine. It has automatic dosing, which my other machine didn't have. So you can choose to do either, you can see on the buttons there, one shot or two shots, and it will automatically stop. So my other machine didn't have that ability. It's um, interesting, it says it's designed and engineered in Australia. I didn't know that when I purchased it. It uh, is not a pod machine. I won't buy a pod machine because of the environmental impacts of pod machine. This is what it looks like. How did I choose my coffee machine? I checked on the Choice website. Those of you in Australia probably know what Choice is, but if you're not in Australia, it's a consumer advocacy group and they test a whole bunch of products every year and do reviews and give them ratings and recommend some and don't recommend other ones. And sometimes, really interestingly, cheaper products outperform very expensive products. So this machine is the in the low end of the price range, but scored really well. So my choice subscription has paid for itself once again. Very happy about that. All right, let's get on to opening this box up and seeing what's inside. All righty, let's have a look inside here. Really good. Straight off the bat, sometimes it's hiding down the bottom underneath the machine and can get overlooked. So I'm I'm glad that's at the top. And I might have to turn this box upside down to get this out. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just checking the packaging to make sure there's nothing in there. Sometimes, sometimes there can be little corners where they can hide stuff. So if you're unpacking something, make sure you always check all of the packaging to make sure you're not throwing something away that you're meant to keep. And just removing some tape from the uh, water tank at the back here. And then we have a quite a nice looking machine, really. Still got some packing to get rid of at the back here. Remove the red plug before use. And what do we got at the front? We've got some tape here. Oops. Holding this down. little drip tray there's a little word here that says accessories so that's why I opened up the tray okay 
So that all looks really good. Big on off button. Mm, the handle's really nice and easy to turn. On my other machine, the handle was getting quite stiff to turn, so that may change over time. We will see. And a light here to tell me when the machine is ready to use. So that's the machine. Uh, I'll turn it around so you can see the back where the water tank is. So fairly standard kind of water tank. Opens up. Has the valve down the bottom that fits into the machine here. Got a nice little attachment. Takes two litres, which is actually more than my previous machine, which only took about mm, a litre, I think. So let's have a look at the accessories. So here we have the porter filter. It's nice heavy weight to it, so that's I like that. Different kind of design on the back than I've seen before, slightly different to what I've had before and slightly different to what you see in cafes. You know, they usually have the two little arms coming down. Dual wall water filter. Fits in quite nice and tight, that's very good. And then in here, oh, we have a, a milk jug. I wasn't expecting a milk jug. A very tiny one. And they wrapped something else up inside of it, which is struggling to come out. So this is the single dose for the porter filter. So if you want double shot of coffee, which is actually what I usually do make for myself, I'm gonna to have to cut this. <clears throat> So that's the single dose, one shot, and the one that was already in here is the two shot. So let me see, let's double the height of the other one. I usually make two shots because I use a really large cup. And a milk jug, which I totally did not expect. I don't know how much use this will be for me. Actually, I already have a milk jug, of course. Um, <clears throat> because that's going to not make very much milk. And considering that I usually use a very large cup, I will need my other milk jug. But that's fine. So there's that. That's the water filters. Head, and then this is a tamper. Doesn't feel like a very solid tamper. I have a stainless steel tamper. So it's a hard plastic tamper. I will probably continue to use my stainless steel tamper that I have. It's got considerably more weight to it. And yeah, I will keep using this one although. This one is a better fit. Mine is going to leave some space. Hmm. I might have to use the new one. I'll try both and I'll see how that goes. So there you have it. That is all the uh, bits and pieces that come with the machine. I'll just quickly open the manual. So it has a quick guide to making coffee, which includes steaming the milk. So that's really good. It says to wash everything first and prime the machine by running water through the group head, which is pretty standard um, application. And then we have this guide. We have a quick look through here. All the different parts. 
instructions. So yeah, there we go. So if you're thinking about buying one of these, that's everything that you are going to get in the box. As I said, I chose this based on uh, reviews and tests done by Choice Magazine. I have a subscription so I could look up the tests and see which machines they recommended. This machine's retail price is $329. Uh, but the store I bought it from was having a special, so I didn't pay that much, but that is the RRP, and I did see it at that price in a few. There you have it, the Mini Barista Espresso Machine. I'm now going to make a coffee, after I've cleaned the machine, of course. <laughs> Can't wait to have coffee at home again. See you next time. Bye.